What's up, everybody? It's your boy P from Loud Pack Boxing. Um, hope everybody doing all right this weekend. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure y'all subscribe. Y'all like the video. <clears throat> Hit the notification bell. Um, and I'm back with just another video. You know how we get down over here at Loud Pack Boxing, pretty much. Covering all stuff, combat sports related and um today we on the same thing we always on you know what i'm saying the fight game but pretty much man i wanted to get my thoughts on um <clears throat> triller for y'all who are not familiar triller is a uh, one of the newer promotion companies on the scene um they they've been hosting the, the jake paul all brother, I mean the Logan brothers fights, and they actually <clears throat> held the the Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones fight. Um, they were really getting pretty pretty good reviews. You know, it brought in a lot of casual fans, and the casual fans, the ones I spoke to, were entertained by what they saw. You know, they had Snoop Dogg commentating. They had a live performance by you know rap artists so they are bringing something different to the table than other uh promotion companies such as top rank pbc golden boy you know who pretty much stick with the traditional um setup so it was refreshing to see some guys come in and bring something different to the game now mind you um for the diehards we don't really want to see necessarily see Snoop Dogg commentating. No disrespect. I'm a big Snoop Dogg fan. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. He did a good job. But, you know, um, we're used to we used to seeing people who are um have years of covering this sport, or either they were in the ring at one time. So, you know, I understand what Triller was doing and I respect what they're doing. You know, they're bringing in a new crowd to the fight game. You know, I respect what they're doing as far as marketing. I'm not a big fan of the, 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 the exhibition fights as far as the Paul, the Logan brothers or whatever, but the Roy Jones and Mike Tyson was cool. But anyway, Triller making news again, shaking up the game, shaking up the boxing game by winning their purse bid for um, lightweight champion Tiafimo Lopez versus Camboso. Um, Tiaf Tiafimo was undisputed as the undisputed lightweight champion. He defeated Lomachenko, you know, to become undisputed. Um, and that was a very solid win. Like they say, you got to be beat the man to become the man, and that's what Tiafimo did, and put himself in a position to have some leverage and bargain. You know, top rank who he signed to, you know, they wanted to offer him one point something million for the fight, the purse bid, which you have to break down and pay yourself and pay the other fighter out of that one point whatever million. And um, Tia Fimo said no. He said, you know, even though this is a mandatory fight, it's not a big name fight. I still know my worth. I'm the undisputed champion. I'm, I'm I'm the man. I beat the man, and that's how you become the man. And you know, I deserve to be paid. Um, match room from overseas offered Tiafimo three point something million for the fight, which was decent, you know. But Tiafimo held his held his ground, and 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 I gotta respect the young kid for that, man. The young the younger generation they changing every game that's out there right now from the fight game, the real estate, the rap game, the dope game. They understand, you know, we we remember the way it was. They understand the way it is now and the way it, the, the way it's going. So the young generation, I got to give them kudos. And like a kid like Tia Fimo, I like him. He, 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 I mean, in my opinion, he's humble. You know, of course, he's a fighter. He has to promote himself. But when I see him, you know, he's in the gym working or, he, or he's with his wife. He's very entertaining inside 
and outside of the ring, charismatic. And um, he seems like he's serious about, you know, his legacy in the sport of boxing. And another thing, we, now we see he he's smart. He's a smart businessman. You know, so like I said, Triller made news once again in the fight game by winning that purse bid for that fight. They put six million on the table for Tia Fimo versus Camboso. You know, a lot of people feel like, well, damn, they overpaid for that fight. They may have in the front end, but on the back end, I think it was a very, very smart move. You know, you got to realize, you know, where it is that the Mike Tyson versus Holyfield 3 is signed, sealed, delivered, you know, to happen as well on Trilla. Now, Trilla understands that, okay, we need to legitimize ourselves. We don't want to be looked at as a freak freak show. So what do we do? We go get a young, legitimate, solid boxer. We got the money to do that. You know, they go get the champ, the undisputed champ. So it's been rumored that Tia Fimo might be fighting on the undercard of um, Mike Tyson versus Holyfield 3. So think about that. You bring in the serious diehard boxing fans, you know, with, with Tia Fimo, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you bring in the uh, YouTube fans with the Jake Paul and Ben Askren, and you bring in the, the older boxing fans with the Mike Tyson and Roy Jones. So they're trying to cover the whole map. You know what I'm saying? As far as marketing their platform, you know, I'm talking about Trilla, that is. So I have to really give him kudos for that, man, and props for expanding the game, changing the game. And the fact that Tiafimo held his ground and knew his worth. And thanks to the Ali Act, he was able to go to the highest bidder, which was Trilla, just shows that this kid, he knows what he's doing. You know, he's keeping his nose clean. He's not in trouble. And he out here making power moves, turning the game upside down. So um, I really just wanted to get my, my, my thoughts on that. You know, I, I, I think it's a great move. Some people might feel different. They may think he's messing up the sport of boxing. But, you know, how can you put a value on your own life? You say my, every time you step in the ring, your, your, your life is at risk. So do you say... My life is worth a million. My life, you know, it's not really a number you can put on that, but the highest number, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, always works if that's what's going to happen because you're definitely putting your life on the line, stepping in the ring against anybody, you know. So, you know, shout out to Tia Fimo for being business savvy enough to make a power move like that and make that happen and get way more than he would have gotten for this fight. Especially with his opponent, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to Camboso, but he's not a guy that's known in the States, you know, not heavily known in the States. And, you know, this fight, it's a mandatory for Tiafimo or something he had to do. But regardless, you still want to get paid. You know what I'm saying? You still want to get paid. So um, y'all hop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about Tiafimo. Um the move he made. What y'all think about Trilla? Do y'all think snatching Tia Fimo will, will legitimize their their promotion company? You know what I'm saying? They get one day possibly be looked at like a golden boy, a top rank, even a TNT. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think. But that's all I really got, man. Y'all make sure y'all like the video. Y'all make sure y'all share it, please. Your boy just on the grind trying to uh, Grow my platform. That's it. Like I always say, I, I like doing this. You know what I'm saying? Having having a, a platform to express myself or whatever. But like I say, that's all I really got, man. It's your boy P. Um, y'all can catch me on IG at Loud Pack Boxing. You can catch me on YouTube at Loud Pack Boxing One. Um, shout out to all my subscribers, my old ones, my new ones. Like I say, I got a new goal now. Um. And I'm just looking forward to reaching that goal with y'all help as far as my subs. Um, like I say, I just appreciate all the support people getting in the comments. You know, whether you agree with me or not, that's not really the point of it. 
you know, it, it has to be respect. It's, I'm not going to tolerate no disrespect, but you don't have to agree with me. I'm just giving my opinion. You know what I'm saying? And whatever you give me will be your opinion. And, you know, as long as you respect mine, I respect yours. So I appreciate people engaging that. Um, like I say, that's all I already got. We do got Canelo <clears throat> in the ring tonight. Um, like I say, it's another big name fighting the name. Not so big name with his opponent or whatever, but it's always um, a pleasure pretty much to watch Canelo in the ring. You know, the guy is... Um, pound for pound, you know, one of the best fighters out there. So he's in the ring tonight. Um, looking forward to seeing some bigger things from Canelo. This is another fight that we're not really looking forward to. Like I say, when you're a high-level fighter, you, you you paint a picture in there. And for people who can understand that, they always respect and enjoy seeing a guy that's a high-level fighter. So um, in that aspect, I will be, you know, Checking Canelo out tonight, but I'm definitely looking forward to some bigger, some big names. I mean, you got Charlo out there, you got, you got Triple D out there, you got Caleb Plant out there, you got, you got names out there that would, um, stir up some interest in Canelo. So, but, um, yeah, that's all I really got. It's your boy P. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all weekend. Um, that's it, man. I'm out. Peace.